So before I jump into uh, content assembly, I just want to uh, recap a little bit about what SharePoint Syntax is. So at SharePoint Syntax, our goal is to help you organize your content into insights, into knowledge that you can use to transform your business processes. And how do we do that? We do that by really simplifying machine learning and advanced AI and helping you leverage human expertise that you already know to build low code, no code AI models and then deploy them to extract those insights really easily. Now, as part of SharePoint Syntax, we, we try to get into the entirety of content lifecycle. So we have content understanding where we help you build low code, no code models to extract insights from your forms, from your documents, uh, help you assign sensitivity labels. We also have functionality around metadata search, uh, uh, which helps you search for documents easily in SharePoint libraries. But now we have also added content assembly. What this contains a content assembly? It is really about helping you generate content from all the insights that you have extracted. Now imagine there is an insurance claim that comes to a user. The you can actually extract information like the claim ID, the claim amount, and then send it for review or approval. Once the review happens, you can use the same information that you have extracted to actually generate a, an insurance claim letter for your client informing them whether the claim is accepted or rejected and all that can be done using syntax the different components of syntax to understand to discover and then to generate these uh, this content moving on to the demo okay so for the demo imagine that you are a recruiter uh, who's responsible for uh, you know creating all the consulting and service agreements for different vendors that you actually hire in your organization now the way that you have uh, that you would do that today is to possibly create a uh, you, you know you have a sample contract already you would actually open it in word uh, you have the details coming to you in either emails or some other format and you you will manually enter those details in the contract to generate the contract uh, the agreement or the uh, consulting agreement or the service agreement and then you will actually get it reviewed and send it out to the customers now this is both error prone in terms that you know there's manual intervention involved and we actually want to simplify this process for you and make it easy for you to generate this repeatable content the consulting and service agreements again and again so what we have done is help you create templates from any existing document that you already have so if you are a sharepoint syntax licensed user you can go to any document library you will start seeing a new option called create modern template you hit on this option and then we let you upload any file from any Word document from your existing, uh, from your OneDrive or from your device. So I'll just select this contract because you know it's a sample contract. So let me select it and use it to build the template. So it takes a little bit time to load in this. Once it's loaded, you can start by identifying what is the dynamic content really in this contract that will change from one contract to other. Right? Not everything in the contract in terms of the, con uh, the conditions, the clauses may change, but there are certain things which will change from one contract to other. You can identify that and start creating placeholders for them. In this case, you can simply select the text that you want to create a placeholder for. Give it a name. And we allow you to associate it with three types of data sources. One is you want the user to add it, uh, enter it manually, and you can support these six data types for manual addition. You can also use a SharePoint library or a, li a list as a data source, and we also allow you to associate it with your with the already set up managed metadata in your organization. So for now, I'll just set it up uh, start by selecting it as a list. So we show you all the lists that you have access to. Here, there's a list called contractor details which the organization has set up in case you know all the new contractors that we want to work with their details are present here you say next title contains the name you can hit save once you are done you can hit add to add this placeholder now you can create as many placeholders as you want for this document there's no limit as such whatever dynamic text you feel needs replacement you can do that i'll just create one more because I want to demo another functionality and associate it with the same SharePoint list. Notice how we have pre-selected the list for you. It's highly likely that you will actually be working with the same list. You select the address, hit save and add. Now, once you're done, you can actually go ahead, rename this as 
uh, you know, let me just rename it at service agreement template. Go ahead, publish the uh, template, create as many placeholders as you want. You can go ahead, publish the template. Once the template is published, it is now available in the new menu in the document library. So if you go, uh, go to the new menu, you will start seeing a new template here called the service agreement template, which any syntax license user can now come back and use to generate the document. To generate the document, you simply need to click this template. Notice how we show you all the information in terms of, hey, there are uh, two placeholders that you need to fill in. There are uh, the here are the two placeholders that you have to fill in. I'll start by renaming it and saying, hey, you know what? I want to create a service agreement for somebody called Bob. You'll see that the list values are auto populated here. If you want anything here, you can add it or you can also invoke the list directly from uh, from this uh, button. So let me select Bob to Bob. Let's say OK. And notice how the address has been autofilled because we were able to identify a unique record in the SharePoint list and hence we autofilled the placeholder. So this is a functionality which we provide out of the box without you having to go through the hustle of filling in all the uh, placeholders. Uh, once you have done, you have filled in all the placeholders and you are ready to publish, you are ready to create the document, simply hit create. And at the time of creating, we allow you to rename the document if you want, but we also allow you to create the document in two formats, either the Word or the PDF format. So I want to document in a PDF format. Let me create a PDF and say create. Once done, you'll see that the document is available. Uh, the PDF document is available in the library. And notice that we have changed the placeholder values uh, in the document. So this is how you can actually uh, convert any uh, any of your existing documents into a template that you want and use it again and again to generate repeatable content. Now, you know, this is not the end of it. We are actually working on a lot of lot more functionalities which are going to come really, really soon out. And some of those functionalities include, you know, templatizing entire tables, templatizing images. We also want to ensure that the values that you fill in as feed in those placeholders, uh, you can directly tag them as metadata of the document so that you don't have to write any other model or, you know, uh, uh, to extract those values again. And something that we are really excited about is also uh, uh, we are uh, we are actually uh, releasing uh, very soon a preview action in Power Automate in SharePoint Connect and Power Automate uh, to help automate the entire document generation process where you don't actually have you can directly generate a document when a list item is added, modified or deleted. Uh, you can tie it with a content assembly template and then generate the document automatically. So that's it. Thank you. Awesome, Ankit. Thank you so, so much. That's very, very cool stuff. Really appreciate you taking the time to share that with us today. Mm -hmm.